Welcome back to Arsenal News TV and today we have a lot of transfer news regarding Arsenal players. So before we get into the video make sure you guys click the subscribe button, hit the like button if you like the video and comment below what transfers you want to see at Arsenal. I'm sorry guys I just didn't upload in the last two days because I've been very busy and I have a lot of stuff to do at the moment. I'm trying to balance YouTube at the same time so hopefully you guys will bear with me. Other than that guys make sure you stay throughout the whole video. So the first piece of transfer news regards Lucas Torreira and as you can see in the picture he is in Madrid and there's only one club from Madrid that wants Lucas Torreira at the moment and that is Atletico Madrid. So the headlines are stating that Lucas Torreira passes Atletico Medical but won't complete loan transfer from Arsenal unless La Liga side Atletico Madrid so on player. So reports are stating that Arsenal star Lucas Torreira has passed his Atletico Madrid medical ahead of a loan transfer to the La Liga Giants, but it's not a done deal yet. The tenacious Uruguayan midfielder is on the verge of joining Diego Simeone's men on an initial loan deal with a view to permanent transfer which is around about £20 million, which has been claimed by Marca. However, the Spanish news outlet have revealed that the move will only go through if Atletico sell one of the players due to the strict La Liga um, economic control rule. Torreira was pictured on Saturday morning smiling and giving the thumbs up while wearing an Atletico Madrid face mask as you just saw in the previous picture as he underwent his medical at the Navarra clinic which is from Atletico Madrid. But the deal is said to hinge on the Rogi Blancos um, selling one of their talents with Thomas Lamar and Hector Herrera believed to be surplus to requirements. The French midfielder who was once a target for Arsenal, which is, we're talking about Thomas Lamar at the moment, hasn't been able to attract any bigger, big bidders because of his £15 million pound loan move. And Hector has said he has no intentions of leaving the club. Herrera joined the Gunners in 2018 for a reported fee of £25 million. Pounds, after a bright start, the 5 foot 6 inch South American struggled for form and injuries when he broke his ankle in an FA Cup win over Portsmouth last season. So Torreira has still found himself on the fringes of Mikel Arteta's sides with reports suggesting he was struggling to settle in London. Meanwhile, Arsenal have been desperate to get another midfielder through the door before the transfer window closes on October the 5th. And they have been linked with Leon Star, Husimawa and Atletico's Thomas Party, but are yet to reach an agreement with either clubs. So this is the news regarding Atletico Madrid. As you saw in that first picture I initially showed, was that he has completed his medical at Atletico Madrid. My views on, um, on Lucas Torreira is that he's not an Arteta player. And he just was ruined by Unai Emery in my opinion because he was used in random positions and he just didn't get the best out of Lucas Torreira apart from the initial spell he had. So my views regarding on Lucas Torreira is that Arsenal are playing it smart with his move. They know that he will move to Atletico, however they want someone in return and that player we all want is Thomas Partey. In my opinion Thomas Partey will be a great asset to Arsenal and he will probably succeed easily and he will probably be performing well in the big teams as we saw in the Champions League final against um, Liverpool. So I feel as though Torreira to leave Arsenal is a shame and everyone I know loves Torreira, every Arsenal fan I know loves Torreira. He's such a humble guy, he works hard for the team, however it just didn't work out for him and it just doesn't work out for some players and he's one of them. So. Thanks for having us, uh, having you Torreira and hopefully you have a good spell at Atletico. So the next piece of news is regarding Hossein Awa and the headlines are stating that it is bad news for Arsenal regarding Hossein Awa. And Hossein Awa was a reason why I didn't upload last two days as well. As an Arsenal fan I was upset as well regarding the news. I've been listening to regarding Hussein Awa. So the headlines are stating, Oh, oh, Arsenal suffer transfer catastrophe as Leon decide not to sell Hussein Awa with all negotiations off. 
So the reports are stating that also had been dealt a huge transfer blow after Leon announced Osimawa will not be allowed to leave. Mikel Arteta will be bitterly disappointed that his top transfer target is due to stay at the Grupano Stadium after the Gunners failed to get near the asking price. Juventus and Real Madrid had also reportedly shown interest in signing Awa, but after Leon president Jean-Michel Aulas gave him a deadline of Friday evening for a deal to be done for the player, the drawbridge has been pulled up. According to RMC Sport, which is the French outlet that has been talking news regarding Hossim Awa, the Leon hierarchy has put a halt to any outgoing transfers with the deadline looming on Monday. It will be a blow to Arsenal's transfer strategy after they reportedly made two offers for Awa, but those were millions under the French club's valuation. They want a full squad available to Rudy Garcia ahead of this Sunday's game against Marseille. So this is one piece of news regarding Hussein Awa. And as we know, our one and only famous journalist, Fabrizio Romano, had something to say regarding Hussein Awa as well. And it still looks like bad news. So what Hussein Awa has stated, uh, I mean what the news is stating about Hussein Awa is that Leon have also ruled out selling Hussein Awa to Arsenal according to the Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano. So these are reports regarding Fabrizio Romano and he also says that there may be some better news as he says that Gunners are the only club who may have a realistic chance of getting him this widow uh, should they meet the asking price. So, the tweet he has put on his Twitter account says that the Olympique Lyon board have stopped um, negotiations with Arsenal for Hussein Awa and hashtag Arsenal Football Club made clear they won't pay 50 million euros plus add-ons, 60 million euros total, asked by Aulas and Olympique Lyon to told to Arsenal that the deal is over. No Juventus, PSG or Real Madrid on last two days, Arsenal was the only chance. And he just put hashtag Awa. So this is the news regarding Hosimawa. It looks very bad in my opinion. However, let's see how this pans out throughout the rest of the window. Which is literally going lower and smaller. And the final piece of news is regarding Thomas Party. And the news for Thomas Party looks a bit bad at the same time as well. However, Remember yesterday when Arsenal posted an Instagram post of Santi Cozola saying no worries mate in two Instagram posts where he where the background seemed to have the colours of a Ghanaian flag and the French flag. So is this a cheeky um, technique by the Arsenal admin to try and make the fans feel they still have a chance of getting these deals over and done with? So, however, the news today looks like that party and the headlines are looking like it says party um, poopers. So they have called the headline party poopers. So that is a weird headline in my opinion. But the update is looking like Husim, I mean, uh, Thomas Party is desperately trying to be bought by Arsenal. So I'm trying to get the news at the moment, uh, bear with me for a moment and the, the news is that regarding Thomas Partey is that Arsenal are desperately continuing talks on Thomas Partey as a summer of transfer rumours threatened to come to nothing. And also they're saying that disputes remain over prices and the midfielder as Arsenal always do have with every signing they try to get. And it looks like the um, Awa deal is collapsing as well. Um, and there's still two days left and a lot of work is still done, need to be done for the London club. Another famous uh, journalist called Mark Man Bryans in his Twitter post have stated that he has stated that Arsenal retained the interest in Thomas Party. Talks are ongoing, but Arsenal Football Club still unwilling to meet his release calls as hopes of a deal for Awa continue to slide. Party played in Atleti's game on Saturday, but belief is there internally that a move could still happen. So this is the news regarding Thomas Party. Hopefully, you guys will pray that these two deals would be over, 
but certainly in my opinion there should be more than this but I feel like I have a lot of trust in um, Mikel Arteta to try and get this deal over and done with so hopefully we can see how this pans out and hopefully Party will become a Arsenal player Thank you guys if you made it throughout the end of this video and I want you guys to tell me if the mic um, has been way better than it has been before or has it gone more worse. I've changed the microphone and trying to invest some money into this um, channel. I'm trying all I can for this channel and make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button and comment below if you are enjoying these videos. Thanks guys and stay blessed and peace.